No, 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 no. Hey, everybody. Welcome. It is Saturday, June 13th. Um, this is your live workout for Saturday. So this, come here, baby. This is going to be a full body dumbbell pyramid hit workout. You guys keep asking for more pyramid workouts. So here we go. Um, it is hit. But I will give you, as always, lots of different options, low impact, high impact, um, as well as options if you are pregnant or if you're early postpartum. Bye, baby. Say bye. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and there we go again, just like last week. Um, if you're early postpartum or you think or know that you have diastasis recti, um, so I will give you lots of different options for that. So today's workout, can you say hi? Hi. Hi. <laughs> today's workout is a donation-based workout. It is going to be for Black Women's Health Imperative. This is a great organization here in the U.S. I help dedicated to improving. <laughs> Bye, baby. Bye. Dedicated to improving the health and well-being of black women and girls. So there is going to be a link in the description here where you can donate directly. You can also donate to my Venmo and I will put that in the description as well. And um, just make sure you let me know that this is for the workouts. Uh, I will probably know. And then at the end of the day today, I will also be making my own donation and adding yours in. So either option works. Certainly if you are not able to donate, you can still do this workout. Um, but last week we had a really great response. So um, thank you guys for showing up and for donating for these great causes. So again, Black Women's Health Imperative, description will be below. You can donate to them directly or to my Venmo, which is at Amy Skemper, and I will put that um, in the description as well. Okay, so we're gonna give it just a minute or two. This is gonna be Dumbbell Hip Pyramid if you're just joining us. So all you need is a set of dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, you can grab a set of soup cans, water bottles, anything that you might have. You can also use a kettlebell. I will be showing you some ways to modify for that. If you don't have any weights at all, don't worry, just show up and move your body. As you know, I always say, all you have to do is show up. If you showed up, you were successful. So make sure you have a little bit of space. We're gonna go ahead and get started. And then like I've been doing with these live workouts, um, if you wanna hang out for a few minutes after the workout, then I will um, answer a few questions. So Kurt is gonna bring my computer in here and then I will hang out for maybe five minutes or so if you guys wanna say hi or if you have any questions for me. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and get started with this workout. As always, I'm gonna try to keep it <laughs> under 30 minutes. We will see how that goes. Okay, so go ahead and just march it out. We're using some new software today that you might be able to see um, that includes the timer. So hopefully we'll get the countdown timer. I know some of you guys said that you missed that from the live workouts. So keep it going. Here we go. Big deep breath in and out and in. Good. Let's go one more. Last one. Let's take it out nice and wide. We'll just kind of sit into that side lunge and you can rotate over with those shoulders and breathe really lean deep into it and then walk those feet in little roll through the shoulders there we go and breathe gent pushing out gently on the inside of the legs walking your feet in and round it up and let's tap and reach across so here we go so this is a dumbbell pyramid hit workout so the pyramid means that we are going up the pyramid and down the pyramid in time. And each little circuit will be about three minutes total, not very long, and we will go up. Let's bring those knees up. We will go up the pyramid. And can you check on that? It looks like it's frozen. <laughs> Live workouts here. You guys let me know if you can see me on this. Oh, there we go. Is it delayed? Huh. 
All right, hopefully it will catch up. Anyway, just keep tapping it out. So we're gonna go up the pyramid in time, down the pyramid in time, two different exercises for each circuit. Let's roll through those hips. And one will be more upper body based, one will be more lower body. We'll add in some core, of course, and finish with some core. And again, just tap it out. And one will be a little more of a cardio burner. So it may not necessarily be high intensity. Sometimes it will. And of course, I will give you a lower impact option, but it will um, get your heart rate up a little bit more. So that's where the hit comes in, right? The high intensity interval training. So each circuit, two moves that will alternate between the two. We're going up 15 seconds, 30 seconds, 45, back down the pyramid, 45, 30, 15. You get 15 seconds of rest in between those. You're just going back and forth. And then in between each circuit, we'll get a minute where we catch our breath and I show you your next moves. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and show you your first moves before we get started. So you're going to grab those dumbbells. I'm going to be using my eight pound dumbbells today. So your very first move, we're going to do a little deadlift. So shoulders back, hinge at the hips, and we're gonna do a row for two at the bottom, but watch me, I'm gonna cross my hands. So I'm gonna do a row, and then a row, and then I'm gonna bring it up in, in between. Here, row, row, and you're trying to cross and cross, just be careful of those dumbbells, and then come straight up in between, squeezing those glutes. Our next one, we're gonna go side lunge, curl it up, squat it down. Side lunge, curl it up, squat it down. That's gonna be a little more of the heart rate, driving that up, getting the cardio. So both with dumbbells, both lower, medium impact. I'll give you some different options if you need it, but they should be pretty basic to start. We're starting in three, two, 15 seconds. Here we go. Deadlift, two rows, crossing our hands, bring it up. Remember this first one's pretty short. Deadlift, two rows, and bring it up. You probably got time for one more deadlift two rows and bring it up good tap it out so catch your breath roll through those shoulders you got about 10 seconds to breathe side lunge curl and squat ready here we go 30 seconds side lunge squat it down side lunge squat it down so 30 seconds if this feels like too much you can take one of them out you could just do the squat or you could just do the side lunges. Up to you, drop it low if you can. Side lunge, take it down, and breathe. Last one, good, 15 seconds to breathe. Now we're at the top of that pyramid. We got 45 seconds, right? So roll those shoulders back, hinge at those hips. Remember, we're gonna do two rows at the bottom, and then we're gonna bring it up. Breathe, here we go. Hinge, two rows, and bring it up nice and slow and controlled. Hinge, two rows. If it feels better to you just to keep a regular row, palms in, that's totally fine too. This is our long one, we're about halfway through. You can just keep a regular row. You might have heavier or bigger dumbbells that aren't as comfortable to cross, that's okay. We got about 10 seconds and breathe down. Last one. And bring it up, tap it out. 15 seconds to breathe. Side lunge, curl and squat. You pick your level. We're still at the top of that pyramid. 45 seconds and then we take it back down. We are almost there, ready, here we go. Side lunge deep, curl and squat, step it in. Side lunge, curl and squat. Side lunge, curl and squat, step wide, get low. So on that side lunge, remember you're getting deep and then sit low in that squat. Drive the hips back on both and breathe deep and here, Whew. right, 10 seconds and curl, last one, 
Every 15 seconds to breathe. We are on our way back down. Last time with that hinge and that row, with that deadlift in the row, you got 30 seconds. Roll those shoulders back, starting in three, two, here we go. Two rows, bring it up. Two rows, squeeze in those shoulder blades and bring it up. Down, rows cross and cross if you can. Halfway there, 15 seconds. Cross, cross, and up. Yes. And up. Last one. And breathe. Good. Tap that out. All right, team. Last 15 seconds. We're going to do that side lunge, curl and squat. It'll go quick. Here we go. Side lunge, curl and squat. Side lunge, curl and squat. Get as low as you can. Really drop those hips. Drive out of the heels. Last one. Yes. And relax. Good, guys. All right, breathe. Whew. So we're going to get a little longer than a minute so we can even out our time. Go ahead and drop those down. Shake that out. Shake those arms. So grab a quick sip of water and it is up to you on this break. If you want to keep moving, you can jog it out or you can repeat some of those moves we just did. So if you want to do the side lunge, maybe with no weight, that might be a good thing to add. All right, I'm gonna talk you through your next move. You keep moving however that is, if that's just tapping or if that's actually getting low. All right, so we're gonna start down on the mat. So we're doing a little tricep push-up. Modification first, so from our knees. So we're here, we're just dropping our elbows, pushing it up. Dropping our elbows, push it up. So that's your modification. Stay there if you need to, especially if you're pregnant or diastasis, newly postpartum. Drop it down if you can, pop it up, pop it back, pop it in. Drop it down, up into the bear plank, pop it back, pop it in. You can also just walk it back, walk it in. Split the difference in the middle. Our second move, we're gonna grab one of our dumbbells, we're gonna do a lunge and a twist. If you're in that prenatal, postnatal, let's leave the twist out, you can just do the lunge. They're both gonna get that heart pumping. They're both gonna stay low impact. Make sure one dumbbell is close by. Come down on that mat, zip up that core, hands down, here we go, 15 seconds. Down, pop it up, or down, pop it up, back and in. Down, pop it up, back and in. You got five seconds. I love this first one, because it goes so fast. Last one. 15 seconds to breathe, good. Bring it up onto your feet. Grab that one dumbbell. Get ready for those lunges. It's gonna throw your balance a little bit. If you are able, add that twist over the knee that's in the front. Here we go. 30 seconds. And up. Down. Breathe. Totally fine to leave that twist out. Again, especially if you are pregnant, second or third trimester newly postpartum, or you know you have ab separation. 10 seconds, get low and turn, hold it right in the center. Good posture. Last one, relax. Good work team, 15 seconds to breathe. Bring it back down, 45 seconds from the mat. Guys, it's a long time, take your time, take it slow. If you need a break for your wrist, just get a little stretch break, 45 seconds. Here we go. Remember, you can just do elbows to push. Elbows to push. Or if you can, up on those knees, you can walk it back, walk it in, or jump it back, jump it in. Here we go. So jumping back into that bear plank, remember they come just below your hips. Here, push, make sure you're really, either way, pushing through those triceps. So even if you're not jumping it back, and especially if you are, not just momentum, really push, tries, last one. 
15 seconds to breathe, bring it up, take your time, grab your dumbbell. We are still at the top of that pyramid. We got 45 seconds with our lunge. Who's feeling that? I know I am. Whew. All right, 45 seconds with your lunge. Here we go. Lunge it back, twist and up, or just your lunge is fine too. Think about having your weight evenly in both of those feet. Push you that front heel as you come back. And then if you're able, twist and breathe. Drop it low. Think about that core. So you really wanna take this one slow so you can get steady. And on that twist, you can use that core to control it, right? And up. Yes, breathe. Good. And relax. Nice work, team. All right, 15 seconds. We're working our way down that pyramid one last time. 30 seconds here. Catch your breath. We're going to take it into that last time here. Down, up, just your push, or down, up, back, in or down, up, walk it back, walk it in. You got 15 seconds to go and breathe. Think about those tries. Five to go, can you get two more? Last one. Good, A little bonus core there, right? Last time, 15 seconds, quickly with that dumbbell, with that lunge. You got this, then this circuit is done. A couple more to go, guys. All right, here we go. 15, and breathe, drop it low. Yes, good. Five seconds, finish it out strong. Last one, and relax. Nice work, team, all right, so. Grab a quick sip of water. We're gonna go about a minute. And again, if you wanna keep moving, you can jog it out, you can tap it out, or maybe just take it with those lunges. No weight, right? Okay, your next moves. You're gonna grab your dumbbells. We're going to do a little deep squat. As we come up, we're gonna curl and rotate back to center. Curl. Rotate. So if you don't feel like you can turn very easily, just do the squat and the curl, or just do the curl. That works too. And then we're going to drop one dumbbell. We're going to do a little shuffle and a push. So you can do double step, push it out, double step, push it up, or shuffle, push out, shuffle, push up. Whatever works for you, you can also do no weight. All right, grab those dumbbells. You get about 10 seconds. We're starting with 15 seconds. Zip up in that core. Breathe, deep squat, hammer curl up, rotate if you can, here we go. Drop it down, curl and rotate. Drop it down, curl and rotate. It's only 15 seconds, get low, rotate, core. Five to go. Can you get one more? And breathe, relax. 15 seconds to breathe, bend your knees to drop one dumbbell or both. Remember, we're gonna shuffle, push out in front, shuffle, push out up top, starting in three, two, here we go. Shuffle, push, shuffle, push. We got 30 seconds on this, push out in front, push up. Get low if you can. I know those legs are burning a little bit, this is more cardio based. You can, of course, just do double step, push, double step, push. You can keep it a little higher or get a little lower, little more legs. Last one, breathe for 15 seconds. Grab those dumbbells. Whoo, that was a good one, right? Catch your breath, bend your knees, get ready for that squat and that curl. Starting in five, four, three, here we go. 45 seconds, squat, curl, rotate. Low to here. And breathe. Again, if you wanna just do
do the curl if your legs need a little break that's okay or if you want to do just a squat and curl that works too and breathe drop it down and rotate remember you're turning your knees and your hips 10 seconds to go and breathe yes three two one all right guys bend your knees to drop one down one more time at the top of that pyramid 45 seconds we're gonna shuffle right shuffle left push out in front push out up top ready here we go you can do double step as a little low impact shuffle trust me you're still gonna feel it or shuffle push shuffle push make sure on that shuffle that you push out in front that you don't let it pull you down here right zip up that core keep that good posture keep it going low if you can you got 15 seconds can you get a little bit quicker and keep it steady i think you can three whoo two last one and breathe all right team one more of each 30 seconds squat and curl with a little rotation if you can 15 seconds with that shuffle toes forward if you can get low here we go and rotate drop it low and rotate cores in tight and breathe we're only doing 30 seconds you're already halfway there take your time curl to the shoulders low and curl 10 to go and breathe good posture drive through the heels one more and breathe let's do this guys drop those dumbbells down one last time with our shuffle no weights just shuffle whatever you got last 15 seconds double step or shuffle here we go you can still do up and down you can still do double step yes five four three two one catch your breath you made it through another circuit grab a quick sip Whew. i don't know about you guys feels like it's going fast to me it's hard but it's fast three circuits down two to go you got a minute to breathe grab your water again take a real break tap it out or keep with those shuffles next moves all right guys so with or without your dumbbells if you can one dumbbell we're gonna do a nice open transverse but i want you to take it into a side lunge so watch me here i'm gonna go here sit deep into the side lunge back center here deep into the side lunge add a little press if you can if that feels like too much just do the side lunge so opening on the transverse angle but i want toes forward in a side lunge one or two dumbbells we're going to do a swing into triceps so watch me ski or swing bring them up together behind your head ski or swing behind your head if you want you can just do one here behind your head hips drive to the back think about that swing all right guys one dumbbell starting in three two transverse side lunge sit deep and bring it up sit deep so it helps me to kind of pull that top toe up a little bit i know that could be kind of confusing so it's up to you last one and relax but think of it as just your regular side lunge if you need to go to that that's fine too two dumbbells or one swinging like a kettlebell swing drive your hips back so if you got that kettlebell just do the swing don't worry about the tries ready here we go behind yes behind your head drive them back sorry guys i know i haven't really given you a ton of options for kettlebell but i think most of you guys who are experienced with kettlebell know how to switch up these moves right so on this just keep the kettlebell swing last one 
Good, 15 seconds to breathe before we go. Whew. So if you got your kettlebell, just hold it with two hands, just like this. Five seconds, transverse, open it up, side lunge, sit back deep, ready, here we go. 45 seconds. You can just step into it deep on that diagonal or add that press. If you got lighter dumbbells, you wanna do two, that works too. Get low and press. And up. Good, we got about 15 seconds to go. Remember we're at the top of that pyramid. Breathe. And up. Yes. Can you get a little bit lower? Sit into it. Push out of that hip. Three, two, one. And breathe. Staying at the top of that pyramid. 45 seconds with that swing. That is long. If you're doing a kettlebell swing, you need to stop it a little bit short. Totally fine if you're feeling it in your back. Hopefully we get a little break with that triceps. 45. Ready. Here we go behind so you do swing stop it at the top nice and controlled with those tries and up and up if you need one dumbbell one dumbbell two hands drive it back bring it up drive it back glutes are squeezing legs are locking out at the top really get it back there you got 15 seconds Finish it out strong, whatever you got. Then we're down our pyramid. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, guys, one more of each. 30 seconds with that transverse, 15 seconds with our swing. Roll those shoulders back. Then we got one more circuit and it's all on the mat, guys. Ready, here we go. 30 seconds. Side lunge and press. Open it up, sit deep, push out of that hip. And breathe, can you get low to high, really into the hip, press it up strong. Halfway there, diagonal. And press, five seconds to go. Then this move is done for the day. Three, two, one, breathe for 15, 15 to go. All right, guys, Whew. breathe it here. All right, last time with our swings, you only got 15 seconds. If you wanna just swing, just swing, here we go. If you wanna add those tries, swing and try, it's nice and steady. Power back, lock it out, power and lock. Last one and relax dumbbells down in front press those thumbs to the back grab a sip of water guys we are almost done how crazy is that you got one minute catch your breath again you can jog it out you can march it out you can take it with those side lunge it's up to you last moves guys oh we're all down on the mat all right so if you need to modify, you're just staying on your knees. We're gonna do a row each side. We're gonna tap it back our feet one at a time. My prenatal, postnatal, stay there or anyone else who needs to modify. If you can, we're gonna bring it up. We're gonna do a row each side and we're gonna do jacks for two. So row for two, jacks for two. Then we're gonna take it just to a side plank. We're gonna go here, we're gonna drop it down, we're gonna drop it up. All right guys, come down on the mat with me and we'll alternate our sides with that side plank. We'll split halfway. Don't worry, it'll make sense once we're there. All right, here we go. Row and row, tap it back, tap it back. Row and row, tap it back, tap it back. Or you're here, row, row, two jacks. Good guys, 15 seconds. All right, so we're going 15 seconds each side with that side plank. We're gonna split halfway till we get to that last one on the 15 seconds. So you're here, zip up that core on the knees, 
or on the toes. Here we go. We got 30 seconds. We're going to switch at that halfway point. So drop it down, bring it up, drop it down, bring it up, down and up, down. Last one here. Roll through to the other side. You can do it. Down and up. I got to make sure I check my clock and breathe. Knee is fine too. Four, three, two, relax. All right, guys, stay here. We're on those knees. Two rows, tap it back, or two rows, two jacks. Find where you want to be, one or two dumbbells. Ready, here we go. So low impact, row it. Keep that core pulled in tight, zip it up, tap and tap. Or here, row and row, two jacks, two jacks. Row and row, two jacks. And of course, you can always split the difference. Be on your knees, but at that angle, row and row, pop it up, jacks and jacks. Row and row, jacks and jacks. Can you get 10 seconds? I think you can. Two jacks, nice and steady. One more. Two jacks, two jacks. Good, guys. Whew. All right, let's take it down onto our side. Let's start with that other side. We got 45 seconds, so we're gonna switch at the 20 second mark. Dropping in that hip, on the knees or on the toes, Bring it up, here we go. Down and up, 20 seconds here. Breathe, down, up. Maybe you're like me and that elbow is sliding, so just check back in, zip up that core. Breathe out, yes. Go ahead, switch your sides, just flip over. Bring it up, 20, lift and lower, here we go. Knee is totally fine, you can still drop that hip. Breathe, 10 to go, breathe up, last five, four, three, two, relax, good guys, all right, bring it back, Whew. last time, 30 seconds with that row and two jacks, finish strong, whatever you got, bring it up, Ready, here we go. Two rows, nice and strong. Lots of core, lots of upper, then some cardio. Nice and light. And of course, even though I didn't say it, you can just tap it out, tap it out. If jumping doesn't feel good to you right now, that's okay. Jack, jack. Take it, jack, and jack. Let's go five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Good guys, roll that out. All right, so we're down to our last 15 seconds. Surprise, we're gonna add an extra 15. So come into that side plank, 15 seconds. Here we go, one side. Take it down and up, 15. Breathe, yes, good. Last five, four, three, to relax, good, stretch it out. We're gonna give you a little breather. Take it to that other side, on that elbow, zip up in that core, and breathe. Ready, here we go, 15 seconds. Breathe. I'm hoping, I'm watching my timer, that I make it in that 30 minutes. <laughs> that was the goal, you know me, I always go a little bit longer. Five, four, three, two, Relax, Whew. nice job. You guys stretch that out and breathe. I think I did it. What I'm watching is on a little bit of a delay, but I think I did. Whew. Stretch that out, nice work guys. So we didn't do a lot of direct core, like crunch stuff, but we got a lot of stuff in that plank position. So we were getting a lot of core and a lot of stabilizing like we did with those lunges so trust me you got it let's stay here little stretch over let your head drop yes i did it i made it under 30 minutes Whew. all right guys and breathe 
Oh no. Sorry guys, did I disappear? Don't worry, we're gonna get it back. Whew. All right guys, are we back? Somebody let me know if we are back. Can you see me? All right, so sorry about that. That's the thing about the timer is then it decided we should be completely done. You know me, that means that, whew, that means that we still have a warm up, right? All right, so go ahead and bring it up. Big stretch over. Still working out the kinks with this new software that we have. Stretch it over and breathe. I mean, this was a timed workout. In theory, I should make it. It's all about, <laughs> it's all about that warm up and cool down, right? Ah, good. Breathe. Let's take one foot forward, just sit back into that hip, lean into it here. The actual workout I made in under 30 minutes, right? <laughs> Other side, sit back, lean into it here, and breathe. <sighs> Thumbs to the front, and to the back. Yes, good. Yeah, breathe. All right, guys, thank you so much for showing up today. One big deep breath in. Be sure to make sure, one more, you did it. Ah, be sure to make sure that if you are able that you donate to the Black Women's Health Imperative. The website is below. I'll make sure that if it's not that my Venmo is also below if you would prefer to go through me. You do your preference. I trust that if you're gonna donate on your own, you are if you are able, again. So thank you guys so much. Thank you for uh, bearing with us while we tried some new software with the timer. Um, and I'm going to be doing these workouts. I'll do live workouts, probably get back to a couple times a week, but um, for now, it's Saturdays, and I'm gonna try to find a different organization most Saturdays that we can donate to again if we are able. So a good way to think about it is what you might pay for a class. So here in LA, that could be anywhere between 10, 15, 20 bucks. But again, no pressure, only if you are able. It's a great organization. Okay guys, so <clears throat> let me grab my computer and let's see if anybody has any questions. Oh, all right guys, so, um, whew, hey Mel, glad you're here. Yes, you like the transverse lunge. So yeah, that's something, sometimes I've avoided that. <clears throat> because it can get a little tricky, especially if you have knee issues, but if you, but working on that diagonal in what we call that transverse plane is very important. We also do it with our curtsies or we did it with that little twist. We always wanna be working in all planes of motions, right? So moving laterally, moving to the front and the back and also in the transverse plane. So glad you liked it. Um, Amy wants to know why I usually step back. So I'll tell you why. <laughs> so. What I have found over many, many years of training clients in person and teaching classes in person is that a lot of the problems with lunges often be in people getting too far forward. So it's a lot easier for me for cueing to step back and then make sure we can get that support in the front. You want your weight evenly distributed, but this leg has taken more of the work. And since most people feel the pain often in that back leg, I find that stepping forward, sometimes people get here or they lean into it or it can be a lot of pressure in that knee. So just generally because what I'm putting out to YouTube is going to the masses. I don't always do that when I'm training clients in person or when I'm teaching classes in person. Obviously I haven't done that in a while <laughs> since none of us have been at the gym, but I've just found that that is a little easier, especially if you are a beginner or you have some knee issues for form. I'm actually thinking I'm gonna start a series on the channel here of form and function. Just, I have a few how-to videos, but I think I need to update them and give you guys some more um, breakdowns on how to work through some of these exercises, some of the common ones, some of the less common ones, what they're working, what their function is, and also some ways to modify, because those are questions we get a lot too. Um, okay. So, yay, Marie liked the transverse as well. Yay, Nikki, you're so close to having that baby. 
Hillary, yay! Um, let's see. Hey, Coco. Thank you. Um, thank you for making your donations, guys. Okay. <laughs> Overall good still needs further improvement. Thank you for that feedback. Um, let's see. Did I say great job, everybody? I hope that I did. Aaron says, I love that we can modify. Listen, guys, here's the thing. There are a lot of reasons to modify. I know lately because I've been trying to make my workouts accessible to everybody, I talk a lot about modifying for pregnancy, for postnatal, early postpartum, when you're still healing, um, and diastasis recti, which we talk about a lot in my prenatal, postnatal, and I talk about beginners, but it's there are a million reasons. You know me, I often call myself out with push-ups because I have some shoulder tendonitis that just kind of flares up and sometimes I can't get down, so I stay on my knees. So there is no shame in modifying. There are a million reasons you might have to modify one exercises or all exercises. So you do you, be where you are today. If you showed up, you are successful. Um, oh, okay guys, let me see. Um, I'm gonna add the Venmo, let's see. I'm gonna add it right here. And then I'll go back and add it in the description. Amy Skemper. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. Maybe. I think I just added it. Yes, I just added it in the um, chat, uh, but I will also make sure I add it. Sorry guys, I didn't do that. Yay, all right guys, thank you so much. Let's see. Um, What else we got? Anybody else? Good. Um, yes, and this will stay up, so if you missed it live today or you're just joining in, you can start back. Oh, Anna loves the timer. Thank you, Kurt will be so happy. Um, all right, guys, so, um, oh, Naomi donated to a different Canadian fund for black youth. That's awesome, always an option. Thank you, guys. Whew, all right, I'm sweating. Oh, my workout partner is back. Here we go. All right, guys, so, be on the lookout for more live workouts. Of course, check out all of my other workouts. Can you say hi? Hi. 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 Still in jammies over here. Um, have a great weekend, everybody. Donate if you can. I'll go in and add my Venmo, but it's also in the chat right now. And I will see you guys for our next live workout. Come here, let's say bye. Let's say bye. 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 Daddy. Oh, no, Daddy.